All right, you guys. So for anybody that has something negative to say about Cat Williams or is just hating on a man for exposing the industry, I want you guys to take a listen to what Dion Cole had to say about Cat Williams because he spoke on him and stated how he feels about him. And he goes into a brief story that I want you guys to take a listen to. So we're going to take a listen to that first and then also stay towards the end because I'm going to be playing Guy Tory's reaction in response to what Cat Williams said. Because if you remember in the interview with Club Shay Shay, Cat Williams stated that in Guy Tory's documentary, Fat Tuesday, they stated that Stephen Cedric was there and performed and Cat Williams called him out and said that all that was lies. About they just they think they can rewrite history. That uh, uh, Guy Tory did a beautiful special about the Comedy Store and Fat Tuesday, where he said that Steve and Cedric and Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish came through there and made. So after we hear Dion Cole, we're gonna take a listen to Guy Tory's reaction to Cat Williams calling him a liar, and then also as well, we're gonna check out what Lavelle Crawford had to say in response to Cat Williams' interview. So let's not waste no more time. If you guys don't mind dropping a like on the video, that would be highly appreciated. And feel free to share this video out as well to get the video out and comment your guys' opinions. I want to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions. I love when you guys engage and comment. But go ahead and take a listen, and then I'm going to come back to you guys. Yo, <clears throat> I was just sitting here thinking, and do me a favor. Anybody that do interviews, anybody know him, Cat Williams, if you're ever around him, ask him, how much money has he ever, how much money has he given away? Just given away. I just ask him that. Just be like, how much money have you given away? If you're around him, if you're interviewing him, just ask him. Because it has to be insane. Cat is one of the most generous people that you ever gonna meet. And a lot of people don't know that. He don't get a lot of press and love for that. One of the most generous ever. He's had to have given away, I don't even know the number, it, ha it has to be crazy. Because there's a lot of people with stories about him giving money to. Case in point, I remember I, remember I was at the comedy store performing one night, got off stage. And this was like early on, early on before really a whole bunch of stuff was happening <clears throat> for me. I get off stage and I'm everybody like, man, good set, good set, good set. So many people saying that. Some girl came and put something in my hand and said, good set, but I didn't see her. I just heard her and she walked off. And I thought it was like a phone number in my hand. And when everybody walked away and stuff, I looked in my hand and it was a thousand dollars. And then I looked out in the audience trying to find the girl. And I'm like, man, I can't remember her face. And I, I couldn't see her. And I was just like, who gave me a thousand dollars? But anyway, I just was like, wow. And later on, about a month later, somebody told me that that happened to them. And they said, Cat Williams was in the audience. And I put two and two together and was like, wow, he did that to me then. He never tell you, he never he never makes it known or any of that. So if you're ever around him, ask him. If anybody, if you're ever around him, ask him, how much money have you just given away? And I bet the number is astronomical. Ask him. As y'all hear from Dion Cole, he praises Cat Williams. And Cat Williams is a great guy. You heard in the interview, he's adopted seven kids. And peep how a lot of comedians and celebrities are actually speaking out saying that Cat Williams has helped them when they were down. Like for an example, Boosie. Boosie stated that Cat Williams had looked out for him whenever Boosie really needed money back. He gave him $15,000. And what makes this even better is Cat Williams does this in silence. He doesn't do this in the public in front of a camera now let's go ahead and move on to guy tory let's go ahead and take a look at his reaction let me just go ahead and put this video up real quick again of what cat williams has said about guy tory so you can just stay fully updated take a listen real quick about they just they think they can rewrite history that uh, uh guy tory did a beautiful special about the comedy store and fat tuesday where he said that steve and cedric and kevin hart and tiffany haddish came through there and made now this is guy tory's response take a listen it's me guy tory your guy guy tory 
I need to address this Cat Williams situation, man. I normally don't get into stuff like this, uh, but since my name was mentioned, um, I need to clear some things up real quick. First of all, I'm not taking any sides, man. Uh, you know what? Uh, he mentioned Fat Tuesdays. He mentioned um, my documentary on Amazon Prime right now, which is streaming strong. And he mentioned uh, it was a beautifully done documentary, which it was. But we didn't. T we told no lies. And it was mentioned that in the in the Club Shay Shay interview that um, Cedric did not come through Fat Tuesdays, which is not true. Check it out. Cedric the Entertainer and Joe Torre, 1995, Fat Tuesdays. The Cat Williams himself, film director F. Gary Gray, Chris Rock, Guy Torre, Cedric the Entertainer. Some closer looks. Cedric the Entertainer! Started out as one night. Now, respect to Guy Tour, you know, he didn't come, you know, aggressive or anything like that. But what I, I want to go ahead and touch into this because Cat Williams said that Steven Cedric did not perform. He never said that Steven Cedric never showed up. He just said he didn't perform. And we didn't see no receipts or proof of him performing. We just seen him walk on stage. So... Cat Williams most likely did not tell a lie because we seen we seen everything but Steven Cedric performing. And that's the only thing that Cat Williams had called Guy Tory out for. But what do you guys think? Let me hear you guys opinions and comments about this situation with Guy Tory. But now let's go ahead and touch on Lavelle Crawford because he gave out his reaction and his thoughts and opinions. So let's just go ahead and take a listen to what he has to say. And then we're going to go ahead and close the video out. So go ahead and take a listen. Ain't none of them cats talking about people. Ain't going to put no money in my pocket. I work with every single person he named so I can make some money. I, we ain't got to see each other. I, had, I, I, I don't have no beef with nobody. And if I do, we'll we holler. I ain't one of them niggas that walk around with this energy. And I think cat, one of them cats that don't need it because he say they names and they ain't afraid to do it. I respect him. He's very he 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 got he got a lot of nuts, and I like that about him. I respect him. Cat gave me the best compliment I ever got. And, you know, somebody some people say he gave them money. I would have loved to get a hundred grand from him, but I <laughs> I ain't paying it back. <laughs> but he he gave me the best compliment ever. He said I I became famous off my stand up alone, and that's that, I met him. That's when I was at the Ralph grocery store. And I, he was out in the car, and his people was inside. They said he come there all the time. I went out there, and we shook hands. Man, it was good to see Cat. And, I, and me and Cat been knowing each other a long time. But I, just, you know, that's how I chime in on this stuff. And I said the comedians that that, that he named, when, when you chime, when you chime in on stuff, it just makes it more valid. You know, if it ain't true. You, you know, all the money you got and all the blessings you got, why you on Instagram going, oh, that ain't true, that ain't true. You you, you making yourself look guilty. <laughs> and, I mean, people say stuff about me, I, I, I'll holler at you. I ain't trying to bring the internet. Somebody trying to choose a side. Motherfucker, I don't have no side. I got God's side. I got my family side. I ain't in that BS bullshit. No, no bullets was thrown at me. So that's going to be all for today. If you made it this far, much love. I appreciate you. Don't forget to drop a like before you leave and feel free to share this video out. And again, comment your guys' thoughts and opinions. But that's all I got for you guys. Peace out.